So it's another road trip weekend, and we're busing 11 hours overnight from Detroit, Michigan, all the way over to Harrington, Delaware, for a back-to-back set with the Delaware Thunder. This is Life in the Fed, episode 13, and it starts right now. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me, and chasing down my dream. This is an overnight trip and this right here this is my bed i sit towards the front of the bus since i am considered a rookie and it's two seats to myself with my luxurious selection of pillows right behind me and just like that it is off to bed yeah! we arrived in delaware big sexy me and the team in the bus we're in delaware which is the immigration hub for Swedish people, when Swedish people came to North America, this is where they This is where they came, came yeah, all the time. That's why I'm here. He's actually Norwegian. This is true. I'm trying to get him to come with me to the Norway too next year. Odin. Skull. <laughs> now, right here is where we are having our team lunch this afternoon at Ruby Tuesdays. And this here is fellow Winnipegger and NHL vet Ian White. And as much as that meatball hoagie was calling our name for pregame meal, I went with the ribeye steak. After that, it was time to check into our hotel. And this hotel of choice was the Holiday Inn. We did it! This is the Holiday Inn hotel tour. As usual, I was not starting and I was backing up, but it was Babs who got the start and the 6-3 win over Delaware. Don't forget tomorrow, Delaware Thunder play Motor City Rockers again. Here, 7 o'clock puck drop. We will see you here at the Thunderdome once and again. My name is Grady Motter. So long from Harrington, Delaware. Well, open it up, open it up, open it up. I think we got a little oh. sweet potato action. What do we got here? Oh, oh turkey go. leg, look at that. We want to eat, but uh, Mr. Vaughn, no fun Klaus, says we got to take No fun Klaus. That's a fine. The uh, state of Delaware gets a little bit of a bad reputation, sort of the Delaware Thunder, but God bless the canteen people. They asked if we'd like to take any of the extra food they have, and not bad. Oh, do you guys have any dip? Now, shortly after this, my prayers had been answered, and no, I was not talking about getting some dip for my chicken poppers from the Delaware Thunder concession. I'm talking about Babs, our starting goalie, finally getting called up. And after the game, the Knoxville Ice Bears and the SP called them up, which meant the starting job was wide open for tomorrow night's game two here in Delaware. Let's go for a ride. The life of the suspension. Now this is what I'm talking about, fed life here. Fucking bumper cars. Let's go. And while Ross is busy climbing bumper cars, we headed onto the ice for warm-ups. Check this out in slow motion. One of the guys rang a dinger right off the post and off the back of my head.
Now, although things looked pretty bright yesterday with Babs getting called up, I did not get the start tonight. So after the Friday night game, I got my wish, and Babs got called up to the ESPY, to Knoxville, which is very well deserved. Uh, I had nothing but respect for him. He's an amazing world-class goaltender, and to be honest, a, a better person as far as uh, the Motor City deal goes. Welcome to pro hockey. I was supposed to start Saturday, according to our management, but obviously that wasn't the case. As much as it is frustrating that I don't think the coaching staff believe in me as much as I believe that they should, and whether that's going to be remedied with, you know, keep me around and I earn an opportunity or the team trades me for whatever, this is a part of pro hockey. It's what I signed up for. And although I don't like it, it's what I'm being paid $125 a week to be a part of and to put up with. I still stand behind what I said before and that I do believe that like there is a plan like God has for, for the team, for me, and that everything evens out in the wash. I'm going to see success. I'm going to start a lot of games. I'm going to be a starter in this league, uh, whether it's with Motor City, whether it's with somebody else, whether it's this season, next season. Uh, that is completely out of my control. Only the powers of B will decide that. Just shut up and get better. If I continue to get better, the opportunity will come. I will achieve my goals and I will get what I want out of this which is to prove our management wrong that I am a starting caliber goaltender and I can win games in this league. I believe that, but they don't believe that. And my job is to try to convince them. Uh, and it's going to take some patience and a little bit of uh, mental truculence. So hit the subscribe button for more because I do new videos just like this every Sunday with Life in the Fed. I also do new episodes on my podcast, Sling the Biscuit. It's up on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcast, and the video version here on YouTube. We talk dirt in the Fed, Zeno. We talk minor pro news, all the stuff that I can't share with you on this vlog. So if you want to hear that stuff that I can't share with you, Check out the podcast. There's a link down in the video description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video with hopefully a more positive update.